Brandon will steal things from out of my bedroom, like underwear and bras, and he hides them in his room. I found the underwear stuff up under Brandon's bed, underneath the mattress. One time I went in there to turn his light off, and he had my sports bra on. And another time, Brandon had a bathing suit top of mine underneath his t-shirt. Every time I come in here, it's more and more stuff. I'm checking Brandon's bed, because this is where he hides his stuff. And this is what I find. I checked his room yesterday and now there's even more and it's all wet. And these right here, they do not belong to me. So I do not know where they came from. There's bras, my underwear, and all this underwear that does not belong to me. And we find more. <laughs> and this is a dress hidden under his mattress. And I was checking his closet. This is my bag in my bedroom. And it's got more of my stuff in there, undergarments. This has just been going on for the last couple months. He started doing this. What really scares me is the stuff that does not belong to me. I don't know where he gets it. And that's really scary. If it is a, if it is a fetish type thing or an infatuation or exploration, curiosity with things associated with the opposite sex, that, that just barely hits my Richter scale compared to everything else. Mm -hmm. That's not what I consider to be dangerous about this. What I consider to be dangerous about this is if that young man is going into neighbors' homes and he gets confronted in someone's bedroom going through a dresser by a husband or a wife, and he panics and a violent confrontation ensues, that's dangerous. He could be shot, he could be killed, he could hurt someone trying to escape or flee. A young man of this level of adjustment or maladjustment does not do well incarcerated. Uh, this is a very dangerous situation. You ask him about it, what did he say? He told me he did it one time at his grandmother's house. He hid some underwear in the closet he was sleeping in, in the room he was sleeping in. And um, he told me that he liked hiding it. It was like a game to him. But I didn't understand that at that point because then it was like a couple weeks later, I went in his room to turn his light off, and he had it on under his T-shirt. Mm -hmm. But you so asked him about it. He just told he, you to shut up. Yeah, he, t he tells me to shut up most of the time. It's yeah. just anything I ask him. And when you say these things were wet, I mean, they had been soaked. Yeah, they were like, like in the had... sink. They were, these were yeah. wet, wash wet. Right. Yes, so, ringing wet. Yeah, just ringing wet. Um, and which suggests he might have gotten them from someone's laundry. He might have gotten them, who knows? You, right. We don't know. But we know they weren't yours. No. Right. So we know he got them from somebody else. That's the important thing. Ready to get real? Subscribe to the Dr. Phil Show YouTube channel for exclusive videos you won't see anywhere else.